before we get on with the video guys i'd love it if you check out my wattpad account in case you don't know what wattpad is it it's an online community where you can read books or write books and then i'm writing a book called a fashion dystopia and i'd really appreciate it if you guys check it out it already has three published parts and I, you know, I think it's a pretty great book and i think you guys would enjoy it very much so do that please now the aim of today's video is to get you guys to move on from the maybe 16 17 fps animators to the higher F fps of animating like 23 or 24 or even 26 now keep in mind i'm not saying you can't animate on 16 17 fps but the higher the fps the more likely your animation is going to be a lot smoother it takes the same amount of time and there's literally no difference from animating on a 23 fps or animating on a 16 fps because it's just if anything animating on 23 fps would actually give you a shorter amount of time to animate than animating on something like 16 or 17 fps and i'll explain to you how that works now the reason for the smoothness of animation in this tutorial is a little thing i like to call double framing i've talked about this in like literally almost all of my tutorial videos but it seems you guys still don't understand the concept about it so i just thought man eh, maybe i'll do another video just so you guys can understand the mechanics a little bit more and you know overall know how to use it to make your animations look a ton smoother basically double framing is adding the same frame twice as the name says double framing for example this is the first frame of my animation and then this is the second frame of that same animation and you can see the first frame and the second frame they do not have any difference whatsoever but you go to the third frame and the fourth one they're different from the previous one but the third and fourth remain the same now the fifth frame and the sixth frame as well are the same frames but previous from the fourth the same thing with the seventh and the eighth frame or the ninth and the tenth frame 11th 12th basically to the end of the animation it's all just the same double framing it's it's the same thing the same concept i used throughout the whole video now mind you this is a 23 fps animation with double framing it looks smooth it looks pretty okay but what if i wanted to turn up that fps to something else let's say 34 which is yeah. i know insane i mean nobody animates on 34 fps but just hypothetically speaking for instance what if you wanted to take it up to 34 the fuck is this man the animation does not look good anymore it looks too fast and how we're going to be able to correct this basically is by adding another set of frames for instance this is the first frame and the second frame here we're gonna add another frame making it triple framing basically and then we go to this and this these are two frames and we add another one we go to this two frames add another one and we just keep doing that till the end of the project hey, hey. i don't want to talk baby girl i want to fuck i don't want to talk baby and i'm back it is still on 34 fps but look at the animation it looks so smooth it looks so good and it's on 34 fps which is i mean it's kind of unbelievable here yeah. And it still looks good the only thing that i think is too fast probably because i didn't double frame it is the speed of the effect but that's easily fixable now the pros to using this technique to animate on higher fps's are your animations are undoubtedly smoother and they take less time to animate while the cons are it takes big bites out of your memory and for devices that have low limits for how many frames you can use in your animation this might be a problem for you guys anyway guys i hope this video helped you and if it did don't be shy to drop a like comment what you think share the video to animators that need help out there and don't forget to tell me your requests in the comment section below peace